Hello everybody, it is Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, I am sharing some of the things I got at a, the Goodwill outlet, which is the bins. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Margaret, as I just said. I am a homeschooling mom that helps support my family. One of the ways is by flipping things I find from garage sales or thrift stores or state sales on eBay and Etsy. And I, like just recently, a few months ago, started going to the Goodwill outlet and I am hooked because I can get so much for so cheap that I can flip. So now it's just a matter of getting everything listed. So I wanted to share with you guys some of the things I picked up and we'll look it up as we go. I've pulled out a few of the items from one of my last trips that um, I wanted to talk to you about why I picked them up and what kind of things we can, um, you could expect to get if you found something similar. And I am live, so hello in the chat if you're here live and if you would like ever to catch me live, then make sure that you have subscribed and to hit the bell next to the subscribe button. I have heard from people that YouTube has been doing a weird thing with their algorithm and people are getting unsubscribed randomly without I don't know if it has to do with who knows anyway so double check and make sure you're still subscribed and you're getting notified so that you don't miss any content all right let's dive in <clears throat> my goodwill outlet the um, they sell things by the pound you go in and you dig through all of these really fun bins sometimes it's garbage and sometimes it's really cool stuff and they charge a buck 49 a pound and if things are glass or ceramic or breakable, then they charge 20 items for a buck 99 or up to 20 items. So if it's five items that you get that are glass or ceramic, it's a buck 99. If you get 20 items, it's a buck 99. So, and then uh, books are, I believe, five for a dollar or so. So let's jump in and get started. <coughs> Alrighty, the first item that I wanted to share with you guys was this. It's a bank and it's like a little dinosaur it does have the stopper it's inside the bank so I'm gonna have to pull it out so this is a Kohl's bank and originally it was about um, $19.99 and it's in really good shape so I'm going to get that stopper out wipe him down get pictures of him but let's find out what he will likely sell for I see a little bit of a couple of little bing dings over here, but I don't think they're anything that's going to really detract too much from somebody wanting to buy them. <clears throat> and I looked up a few of these things, and I remember looking this dinosaur up. Um, and I'm going to come over in the chat um, closer to the end to talk to everybody. So if you have questions, make sure you drop them in there. If it's something that's pertinent to what we're talking about as we go along, then I'll make sure to address it there. Okay. So when I'm looking up this guy, I'm going to make sure that I'm typing in colds and dinosaur. A lot of times colds has um, collaborations with children's books. So there'll be like Coles Cares, stuffed animals. And so I'm not sure. I don't recognize this dinosaur, but he might be from a storybook, but he might not be. So and, and on the tag, it says Dino Roar. So when I come over here, I'm going to type in Coles. Dino Roar, I'm just going to go straight with it, uh, bank, and see what comes up. And I don't remember finding this bank whenever I searched for it. And as we go, if you see, or if you're watching later, uh, if you're like, oh, you should have typed in this, you know, uh, let me know. So let's try Dinosaur, and I'm going to probably take out Roar if it doesn't show up again. So look, here's this. So it looks like that dinosaur. So I wonder if that's, it says Coles Jumping Beans green t-rex plush i was looking there to see is that the name of a story is jumping beans the name of a story that i'm just not familiar with perhaps um i don't think this one is from dinosaur versus bedtime we've I, that's got the red dinosaur in it <clears throat> okay so i'm going to just take out roar now and just put bank so and again there's no on that um so i'm going to do a google search on this bank and then I'll look at the solds because I want to kind of get an idea of what I might be able to ask for. Okay, here we go. So let's see what everybody's putting on this. Dino Roar 
cartoon. This is on Pinterest, out of stock it says. Poshmark, out of stock, Pinterest. So here we see there's one that was up on Poshmark for $8, it's out of stock. Here's one that looks like probably the same one. And so I like that there's not a lot up there. That's amazing for me because let me click on this one and see where it takes me. Because, oh, Jumping Beans is a, okay, cool. Thank you. Glory says, Jumping Beans, Cole's Kids Clothing Line. Cool. Okay. So I'm clicking through on this. Okay, it's not there anymore. So I'm wondering, maybe let me come back and look at sold and see if maybe it'll still show up. Because if it was longer than, I think, three months or something like that, it won't show up. Okay, so my next step in figuring out what I should price is that because I'm not going to go off of that $8 that I saw that sold on Poshmark, who knows when. What I'm going to do is just type in um, Green Dinosaur Bank. Green Dinosaur Bank. And just kind of see what pops up and see what these are sold. So see what kind of what's sold. So $18.95 on that one. Even though it's not like mine, I'll probably end up putting in T-Rex because he's a T-Rex. Here's one similar. It's not the same for about $20 that sold. So that's what kind of what I'm seeing. I mean, if you're a mom or a dad or a grandma or somebody that has, oh, look, there he is. Somebody that has, maybe they didn't know he's from Kohl's. That one sold for $10.50. Um, then you will have a kid that is into something, whether they're into axolotl or dinosaurs or penguins or whatever, and you want to get your little darling just everything that they love, then you're willing to spend the money for what they want. So even though I saw one that sold for ten fifty, I know I'm talking really talking through this, but I wanted to give my thought process. Okay, here he is. I'm taking out taking out coals. I wonder why they chose not to write coals. Anyway, I'm gonna put coals in my listing. That one's up for twenty bucks. So that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm probably gonna list mine for about twenty dollars. Uh, but I don't do free shipping. So this one will probably go up for 20 bucks. I'll put best offer on him and, and let it go from there. So that's what's going to happen with this guy. Um, another thing, you know, even though there were more dinosaur banks up there that we saw, uh, you know, some, somebody might want more like of a cartoonish cartoon type dinosaur rather than like a realistic and it's just preference you know what I mean so that's what's going to happen with that fella uh, let me see in the chat if anybody else has okay we're talking about weather I'm so glad you guys are getting to talk in the chat good deal <clears throat> okay so in that this guy put me out about 10 cents because 20 items for two dollars so he was about 10 cents so if he ended up selling for 20 bucks or even 15 then that's you know ten dollars or more profit which is good in my books then next item that I picked up this is something that oh before I go on to the next item um, go over there and hit that thumbs up friends because it lets YouTube know that you are enjoying my content and that would really really mean a lot to me so it's the Christmas season, right? <laughs> um, as you, if you've been watching me for a little while, you might know that I am not keen on making repairs, but I found something that I was willing to repair. One, because the price point being a ceramic item, uh, it was 10 cents. So, uh, and the, the amount that I'll be able to sell it for made it worth my my while, my interest in selling um, or repairing it. And it's a pretty easy repair. So what I got here is this teapot, a ceramic teapot. It's got this bamboo on it. It's got, um, I guess these are kind of bamboo handles or some sort of wicker or rattan type handles. And then two little teacups that go with the same style. Now the lid on this is broken so let me show you so here's how it broke it's a really clean break and I can repair that and then I would just disclose you know that there's been a repair and I would take pictures showing like I mean, even when I put it back on without having glued it the repair is is going to be really easy to it's not going to be super duper noticeable so that's what's going to happen with this let me put that over here <clears throat> and this one it's a Target piece, so that kind of helps me look it up. Target Zanzen 
Vietnam. So that's going to make it really easy for me to ha look it up. <coughs> Pardon me for coughing right in your ear. All right, so let's come over here and I'm going to type in just kind of what I see and then adjust from there. So Target, and it was called Zan, Zen. It's brown. It's a teapot uh, with little teacups. So I'm going to put teapot, teacups, and I'll add more to it. This is a lot of information right now, but I can add more in just a sec if I need to. So I don't see it at the moment. I'm going to definitely put in that it's square, but I want to see if I saw. No, I don't see it. Okay, so I'm going to take out Target, and I'm going to try that. And again, no. And I still don't see it. So the next clue or keyword that I'm going to type in is square square because it's a square one uh, square and then another keyword that's um, a descriptive word for that is the bamboo that I see on it bamboo so now let's see if we find it now here's something similar oh look it's supposed to have four cups so zan zazen oh I took to zanzen that might help too well, zazen there we go Oh, here's one with two. Hmm, I don't like that price personally, 12 bucks. But uh, if I think about it, let's look on sold. <coughs> um, there's one that sold for $14. Okay, so $12 is honestly when you think about it, because I paid, you know, it'd probably be 30 cents. So 10, 20, 30 cents. If I spent, you know, 30 cents, and I ended up selling it for $12 with free ship. No, not free shipping. <laughs> Without free shipping. Because I don't do that. Because here you see one that's got 12, you know. I'm trying to take off sold. Okay, I have. Um, it's up for $12 with shipping. So even though it's, I would love to have sold it, love to sell it for more than that. When I think about it, $0.30 cents for this, the three pieces if I sell it for $12, then I'm still looking at a good, I don't know, $10 profit or so. And that's another thing I could, could think about doing, or Recycle Renee was saying, I had that teapot, the cups were separate, is that I could break it, you know, let's just see if I took the, um, and sold them separately if I did the teapot. Because sometimes it's like, oh, I just need the cup because my cup broke. I don't really need the teapot because I already have my teapot. So that's another um, thing to think about if I don't want to sell that as a lot I could think about selling like as a replacement type piece so there is that hello everybody in the channel and the chat that's over there if you're watching later then, then go say hello or if you're watching now rather if you're watching later say hello to me and that Ooh, okay I have I see some questions I'm definitely gonna come back and answer in just a second and we've got 51 friends. Hello, thank you for coming live. And go over there and hit that thumbs up. It would be really nice of you. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next item. And I will explain why I picked it up. So, <clears throat> the next thing I got is this. And it's called Spin a Sentence. And as you guys know, I teach. I'm a homeschool teacher. And I taught before that. And... If you see this brand Lakeshore, it's it's a teacher store and it is generally really expensive to buy stuff from them new because they know time is precious and teachers don't have much of it. But for some reason they like to spend their hard earned cash on stuff. Anyway, so it's this, it's got these dry erase boards, you spin the little spinners and then the kids write with a dry erase marker so I've got four of them in there. I think that's how many it comes with. And then the directions are still in there. So let's take a peek at this Lakeshore Spin a Sentence Write and Wipe Game Mats. It's funny how they call that a game because my kids would just think it was torture. <laughs> but let's call it a game. Why not? Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's come back over here. Let's type it in and see how much it's going for. Lakeshore. This is another item that might be good sold locally. I just listed some stuff locally and it hasn't sold yet, but it's a weird time for teachers. Normally they're not going to spend money on classroom stuff right now. It's normally summertime in August and, and such. So 
generally that's when it's going to be spent. Spin a sentence. So here we go. This is a sold spin a sentence for $40 and it shipped out with a $20 shipping. I don't think that's going to cost 20 bucks to ship, but oh, okay. So let's see how many we've got up on eBay. That is, so here is, it's not the same one. Okay. So that's it. Uh, that's, let me see if it's still being sold at Lakeshore because it might not be something that they even sell anymore. That's on eBay, eBay, Lakeshore. No, they've got write and wipe sentences. Spin a sentence. I mean, I tell you what, their stuff, I think I misspelled sentence, didn't I? Yes, I did. <laughs> spin a sentence. Yeah, so I don't even see the spin a sentence still being sold. And, you know, if you want to call it a game, I mean, this is something that as a teacher would have been easy to put like in a, a learning center, you know, while you're working with your reading group, you could have the kids in the writing center, writing, you know, spinning a sentence. So that'd be cool if I can sell that for $40. So, I mean, it probably was a buck, about, about a buck 50. Hang on. The instruction book fell out of it. And I know myself. <coughs> I don't want to miss, uh, mislay it. So that'd be a good Honestly, if that sells for $40, then it'll almost pay for everything because I have this lot of stuff, which I'm not going to be able to show you all today. I'll show you some of it, but um, that's going to pay for almost everything because I spent about $40, $44 on everything. So, uh, <laughs> um, and I do see your questions. Don't think I'm, I'm not going to answer them, but just hang on. Um, stay tuned until I get done showing a few more things and then I'll jump into the chat and answer some questions and I would love to see some more likes over there before I do that <laughs> your ticket to getting questions answered no I'm joking okay so next up I got this youth football and I ended up looking this one up while I was there because um I didn't want to get it if it wasn't worth anything honestly because it would just sit in my workroom so this is uh, NFL, the Duke, Wilson, and there's a commissioner's name. It's red, and uh, it says National Football League and all that. It needs a little air, but I ended up getting it. I mean, it weighs, it's really light. So let's take a peek. Um, okay. Uh, okay, let's take a peek. I was looking in the chat to see what was going on. So it's a red NFL football. And it says the Duke. And it's a smaller size, but I'm waiting to see. Here we go. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, so here are some that are up. This one is still in the box. So that's $99.99, which is amazing. Here's one that someone's got up on, it says on zero bids. So it's up on auction right now with zero bids. But let's go look at sold and see if there are any that have sold. Here's one. So this one sold in October for $32.99. And then here's another, oh, that's a Cleveland Brown. Oh, I guess it's the same one. The picture looks at, why, $66. I don't know why this thing is worth so much, but I like it. And, and because it's not like, it's small, it's not gonna take up a huge amount of space. The, um, it's something that I can put up and let it ride. So my thought process on this is I need to get back one, I need to get back to pricing things high and just letting them ride because when I do it, I, I mean, things end up selling. And then when I don't do it, I just sold something that I didn't, I thought I priced it high and it sold really quickly. And I was like, man, I should have priced it higher. So um, seeing these different price points. So this one sold in November at 66 it says brand new they both say brand new but I mean come on it's in the box it's like new I'll tell you that so probably what I'll end up doing is putting it I'm probably gonna put it around 40 or 50 bucks and then just put a best offer on it and go with it from there because because <laughs> that's just what I'm gonna do uh, you can't, like like I say, you can't get a high price if you're not asking for a high price. And it's way better because you can always lower it if it doesn't sell after a little while. You can bring the price down. <coughs> Apologies. 
So, um, I'm not quite sure. I'm going to come check in the, oh, there is somebody in the chat named Pigs Can Fly. Oh, that explains why I'm like, what is all this pig stuff? Um, okay. Okay, so there's that. That's the football. And that was super cheap because, because it was very light. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is not something that I typically sell, but uh, I started picking these up. I, I picked up one because at first I thought, oh, okay, we could use that in our classroom, our schoolroom. And then I saw another one, and then I saw another one, and then I have in the bag a number of them, like four or five or something like that. And uh, so I decided, oh, okay, well, that's there's enough there that I could lot them up. So it's Scotch Expressions Tape. If I just found one and they weren't really worth much, then that, that's just something I can use in my, you know, homeschool classroom. But since there were a number of them, I can lot them up. So let's take a peek at Scotch Expressions. Oh gosh, my S is sticking. Expressions. Does it tell me what the name of this one is? Um... I don't know. Expressions tape. Anyway, maybe it'll pull up. I'll have to just type in the colors, I guess. So the ones I have are purple and green. Another thing that would be good if I knew like a color of a university or something that were these colors. That would be useful. Okay, let me take it off sold because I'm not seeing. I know that I definitely saw some when I was searching before. Uh, okay, so here's a few, like this one somebody's got up for 433, another one that somebody's got up for 879 with free shipping. So I can probably just, and the unfortunate thing is I didn't see any that were sold. But here's another thing, because this is tape, I can also sell it on Etsy because on Etsy, you can sell supplies as well as vintage items and handmade stuff. And tape can be used as a supply to make other things. So it is likely I will just put it up on Etsy. I will make sure to describe the heck out of it so that people can find it if they're looking for colorful tape in certain colors. And then likely what I'll do is <coughs> I'll probably put them up for five bucks a roll or five bucks a package. Um, and then maybe like $3 or $4 shipping and then just put quantity however many I've got so if they want to buy more and then with Etsy you can say for the first item it's this much shipping and the next item it's $1 extra or something so you have the op opportunity to do that so likely that's what's going to happen it'll probably end up selling on Etsy so there's that okay <clears throat> Pardon me, if you are able to, you know, if you have questions or things along the way, let me know. All right, hang on. Let me go see. Do, do, do. All right, we've got 76 friends over there now and 18 thumbs up. All right, I've got a few more items and then the rest I'll come back and show you later. Um, I've got two more items that I spent 10 cents on. The first one is this bunny dish and it's from it says holiday market but i don't know what is holiday market from does it say more on there hmm i don't know i'm sure somebody will help me with that and the price is kind of scratched off but i i'm, I'm probably not even going to look this up so it, likely it's not going to sell until closer to spring but i'm probably going to put this up for about Fifteen, twelve, fifteen dollars. Um, just my guesstimate. You know, I'll just describe it: turquoise and white, silhouette, and all that good stuff. So, oh yeah, the allergies are weird here. That's that's probably what it is, Heather. Uh, my apologies for coughing so much. Uh, I just came, and I didn't bring my cough drops or anything. <coughs> There's a lot of dust too. <laughs> I'm having issues with dust. Okay. So the next thing I picked up, I thought were buttons when I picked them up, because I do, I did get some other buttons, but these are not buttons now that I've gotten a closer look at them. It says decorative findings, and they are little screws. So it says symbol of quality in arts and crafts. I mean, I guess, oh, I mean, are they like for furniture? What are you going to screw that onto? 
I mean, I guess they could be embellishments for just about anything. So they're definitely vintage, but even if they weren't, I could sell them on Etsy. But let's take a peek and see if we find decorative findings from American Handicrafts. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh, hello, Taco Stacks. I haven't seen you in a long time. I don't get to watch as many of your videos, but I love looking at your thumbnails. And sometimes I get to come and um, scroll through. If you guys don't follow Taco Stacks, you got to go check them out. I love seeing the um, the photographs <laughs> of this stuff on the street. And I always wonder, how do you find the stuff on the street like this? It's like, <laughs> anyway, it brings me joy. So, <laughs> and then I think about that Oscar the Grouch meme where it's just like, when people, when I tell people I like to resell and, and this is what they see and it says, I love trash. <laughs> That's me. I love trash. All right, let's look this up. Decorative findings. And it's from American Handicrafts. Oh, I can't spell American right now. American Handicrafts. And that is, well, well, let's look these up and let's just see what that says, what it shows up with, and then we'll go from there. How about that? Ooh, nothing. So, hmm. I I think they're just like these dome screw embellishments. How about that? That's what I'm going to look at. Dome screw embellishments and see, haha, there's something kind of similar. I'm going to have to dig a little deeper on these because they are not the buttons that I initially thought. And honestly, until I just came live, I didn't realize that they weren't. Because originally I thought they were like little coat buttons, right? So I'm going to have to dig a little bit deeper on those. But my guess is that I'll probably sell the, them. I don't know. I'm I'm just guessing. They're vintage. Ooh. I mean, maybe 10 bucks or so. But maybe more. I'll have to look around a little more. I'll probably find something more similar when I look on Etsy. Or dig a little deeper on eBay. And I don't want to do too much of that. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay, so next up, I've got about three more items I'm going to share. I Here's the thing. The answer is no until you ask. So I asked. I wanted to get this. One of these hooks is broken, as you can see. So this was in the bins. It is hefty because it's a piece of wood that these things are screwed onto. But these are glass. And so I went up and I asked the lady at the checkout, um, do these count as a glass item? And she was like, uh, she said, yeah, okay, I'll give it to you. So I got this for 10 cents. And my reason for going ahead and getting them is that I'm going to take these off and then I'm going to sell the ones that are not broken. I'll just sell those ones um, as they are. So, <coughs> pardon again. Uh, so let's take a peek at what those might go for. And... Yeah, I thought, you know what, I I was about to put it back in the bin because I was like, oh, it's kind of heavy, it's broken, blah, blah. Um, but no, she ended up selling it to me. So, what, what are we going to call these? Um, they're like coat hooks, right? Coat hooks, blue, glass, and metal. We'll see if I described it adequately. No, apparently not. So I'm going to look at solds. Yeah, I've done that for a couple other things at this with this same haul. I took a picture of them. Um, I got those two rocking chairs. Why are you doing this? Sometimes it doesn't want to reload for me. I got those two like youth rocking chairs. One of them I'm going to give to my, oh, here we go, my nephew for Christmas. And the other I was going to give to somebody else, but now I don't know because they haven't responded back to me. So here are these set of vintage coat hooks, brass glass knobs on the ends, double hooks. How many are there? That's interesting. I don't know. So those, those sold for $39. So, I mean, that might be what I do is put these up because here's my thought on these. Somebody's going to see them. I'll hold them up again in just a second. Hang on. Let me flip back over. Somebody's going to see them and think, oh my gosh, these are the exact colors I need for my mudroom, bathroom, whatever. And they're going to be willing to pay the price that I'm asking for them. Once I take them off of this, 
they're not going to take up that much space. They'll just go in a little shoeboxy thing over there with all my smalls and then they'll just sit there. And so probably I will, hmm, I'll probably put them, you know, all four up. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Should I do quantity four and let people just buy however, however many that they need? Because what if they're like, oh, but I just want one. I don't need all four of them because my bathroom is small or I want all four or I just want three because it would look really good spaced apart, you know, 12 inches apart or whatever. That <laughs> I mean, you never know somebody's thought process, right? So maybe I just talked myself into it. I'll probably take a picture of one, do quantity four. I'll put $10 each on them um, and then probably like $4 shipping for first class. It'll just go because they're not that big. They could fit in a six by four by four box four bucks shipping it can go first class beautiful that would be awesome if I can make forty dollars I know my keywords looking that up was pretty horrible <laughs> I'll do better when I list them <coughs> thank you vintage bra and decorative hooks blue glass yes knobs and all that definitely all right I know it's it's holding on this cough is holding on so that's what I'm going to do with those. And then I've got two more things here I wanted to share with you. Again, another item that I picked up was a hat. And this is a an orange like snapback style hat with a patch, speedy tote, service stores. I don't know this brand, um, but I know that it's a bright orange hat. I know it's kind of vintagey looking. It's got an arrow, which is cool. And then I also got, I don't know how many are in that bag. Hang on. There were multiple of them, which sometimes makes me feel like they're not worth anything and sometimes makes me feel like I should buy them all. There's that dust. Do you see it? <laughs> so I did. I bought six of them. So I got six of these Speedy Tote hats, which is amazing because even if I sell them at $10 to $12 each, then that's a good $60 profit. They don't weigh all six of them together don't weigh one pound <coughs> but let's go see if there are any up there which I seriously doubt but we can look anyway so orange speedy tote hat is there are there Ooh, that totes gonna really throw off the search speedy tote mesh mesh back hat so, meh. And they're vintage, so I'll be able to put them up on Etsy as well. We'll just see. Uh, that, so probably what I'll do, just I'm just guessing because I'm not really sure. I'll have to do a little bit um, more digging on that. But chances are that I'll put them up for like $14.99. Here's the other thing. Okay. Do you guys, do you have Netflix? If you have Netflix, there's a show there called Explained. And I just got hooked on this show. And it's like explaining why in our culture certain things we feel this, certain, this way. And I just finished the one about diamonds. And you guys probably already know about why, you know, diamonds are so popular and all of this. And the supply and the demand. and the. But another thing that they really touch on is perceived value. And if you list something, let's say I list these for $12.99, somebody's going to see them and think they're probably cheap, right? But if I, you know, raise that price, that perceived value, that perceived, you know, it's even better now because it's, it costs more, you know, and not everybody thinks that way, but, but it really, they talked about the, the psychology behind that in the show. And it was really interesting to hear that because it was like they had taken two exact same wines, changed the label on one. And one was $75, one was $25. The wine inside was exactly the same. And people thought, oh, the $75 wine has to be better. You know, so they perceived that that one was better. So, <coughs> pardon again. Um, so, yeah. So when I think about like initially like, oh, I could listen for 12 and just get a little bit off of it. You know what? I might might be doing myself a disservice I might need to rather put a higher price on it. So there's that. Um, oh, thank you so much, Sunflower. I'm, 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 I'm going to mute this because I have to cough again. I'm sorry. My little baby coughs were not taking care of business. All right. And then I got one other hat. 
as well. And it's not something that I, it's not a brand I know. Casablanca Hunting Club, Nuevo Guerrero, and that's uh, Mexico. So I, I don't know this, but I know that there are people that like to hunt. And that looks like, what do you guys say? Is that a pheasant? No. It's not a dove, is it? His tail is weird for a dove. But it might help me to find out. I mean, I know there are people that like dove hunting, but I don't think doves have a tail like that. And I, it doesn't look chunky enough to be a pheasant. What do you guys think? Maybe it's a pheasant. It'll help me to know because then there'll be somebody that's like, oh my gosh, that's the kind of bird I like hunting more than anything else in the whole wide world. And I want that hat. And I don't care that it's got Mexico on it. Or, oh, I love to go to Mexico and shoot these kinds of birds. <laughs> so let's type it in and see if there's anything up there. Casablanca. Casa. Not Casablanca. Casa. Blanca. Hunting Club. Hat. There. So there's a Casablanca hat. Casino hat, blah de blah. There's a few hats like that up there. I'll just have to type in hunting club and see what I find when I dig a little bit deeper. Because I don't really see this exact one. That's not a duck. No, its tail's not right for a duck. So chances are likely that, like these ones, you know, similar, about 20 bucks, 15 to $20, that'll go on that hat. On that hat right there. Okay, so I will come back and share some more of the things that I picked up from the bins. I've got some more items here. I have a whole I have a whole big tub full of ceramic stuff because I was able to get it for so cheap. So cheap. Um, let me know. Oh, you know what I said I was gonna go look in the, the chat. So I'm gonna look in the chat, but if you're out of here because you're like, I don't want to hear you talking to people in the chat, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about splitting up these, these and selling the teapot and the mugs separately because I really like to hear different people's perspectives. Sometimes you guys have really great, sometimes, usually, always have really great perspectives that maybe I hadn't thought about or can give me tips and I appreciate it a whole lot. So if you're leaving now, then thank you for being here. But I'm going to dive into the chat and say hello to people and answer some questions. So hopefully you guys are still here. I'm rolling back to the top of the chat. Hello, everybody. I hope you're having a really great holiday season. My family's starting to roll in on Friday. I hope you have lots of people that make you happy in your lives to be around. It's not cold yet here. Well, it's cold-ish. We, we, we rode the train into Austin today. Oh, my cats are behind my computer. I didn't know. Yeah, we rode the train in and we went to the library and had a really nice day. Um, so Yorkshire Man says, I hate doing repairs. It costs a lot of money, yeah, to repair my business. Yeah, I mean, it depends on what you're trying to repair. This one seemed like a really easy fix. I can just get some some something. Um, okay. I know I saw some questions in here. Okay. Penny says, um, if I revise my listing, am I being charged? I keep getting eBay messages to add things. No, not if you revise it. And usually when you get down, I think somebody says this too. When you get down to the bottom, whenever you click submit, they usually have like, it's going to cost this much to do it. And it should say zero if you're just revising stuff. Now, if you're adding revising in order to add like a bold listing or, you know, something else that it might it might cost but if you're just going and revising a picture revising a word or something like that no so so uh celeste says um my ebay tries to get me to add details when there isn't any detail to add yeah <clears throat> sometimes that happens so definitely yes you pay for quality <laughs> um i'm peeking through there's a lot of talk Ah, oh, pigs can fly says, just got back home from the hospital, broke my ankle playing football, cheering myself up for the YouTube binge. Yay. Tell me some of your favorites that you like to watch. I, I wish I, I wish I got to watch more people. I, I say that. And then I, I subscribe to a ton of people and I like to see the thumbnails and sometimes I'll click and I'll just watch a few minutes of it. But as a homeschool mom, like I don't have a lot of time trying to do all this and yeah. 
if I get distracted, if I start watching, then I just get sucked in. <laughs> so, oh, okay. Uh, Celeste's get all the tapes. They are perfect for packing light stuff. This is true. Um, seasonal allergies. Yes. Okay. Do, do, do. I'm looking to see. Hmm. Y'all are giving me some good keywords for the the hooks. eBay suggests not using the vintage as the first word in the title. Oh, okay. Penny's asking if I use a Mac or a PC. I use a Mac. I use a Macintosh. A Macintosh is an Apple computer. And oh, okay. Heather says too many items come up with vintage. Uh, learned that at at eBay open yeah I wish I could go to eBay open every year I think I'm gonna be able to and I now I know this year I cannot nope 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 and sunflower says hello from Central Florida hello okay Gretchen's asking what is one item that you totally got stumped on after researching ooh that's a good question I'd like to know y'all's answer on that what's one item you got stumped on after researching I had a bear. I still have this bear. It's like a little vinyl, like it's a vintage bear. I think he's German. It has little mittens. I mean, and I even asked in groups. I searched. I think it's like a vintage German toy bear, but I can't find. It's got little glass eyes, but then it's like a plastic body. I don't know. So I put like a crazy price on him and then he still hasn't sold, but I just like him too much to drop the price because he's so unique. It's like that weird, do you remember that weird Siamese cat that I had? That hard plush, vintage, like really hard plush, oh, what was his name? Fin Fin or something like that. I put a crazy price on that cat and he sold. So anyway, um, hello, hello. So anyway, that's that. And I hope you guys have a really great evening. I am going to go... I've got stuff I have to finish doing, like wrapping presents. The kids are out for right now, so I can go wrap a few more presents, and then, and then it's on. They'll be home, and then it's kid time. But I hope you guys have a really great evening. Uh, like I said, go over there and hit the thumbs up if you're watching later. Leave me a comment and let me know how you've been doing, what you've been doing, and I will talk to you on the next one. Bye, everybody. And I always say bye before I'm ready to hit end. And I just do it every time. All right, there we go. Have a good evening. Bye.